Tim Crawley is a former member of the Victorian Upper House. He served from 2018 until the 2022 election. He is a member of the Libertarian Party and a former Wodonga councillor. Maybe we'll be running in the local elections later this year, but we'll be discussing that with him another time, I am sure. Tim Crawley, really appreciate your time. Yeah, uh, glad to be on. So just first off, before we talk about how this has impacted you, just just let me know, how, how did you find out? Because this seemed to be, by all accounts, a pretty um, random, you know, for Australians, somewhat late night uh, name drop that we got of uh, a collection of state MPs, obviously former, including yourself from uh, Victoria, New South Wales. Yeah, so my wife sent me a text message last night uh, saying that I, I was on the list. Uh Apparently, someone had told, she saw somewhere that they were sanctioning a bunch of Australian municipal M, uh, MPs, and she thought that was local councillors. So she thought, searched for her, her own name um, and then found mine there instead. Um, so, yeah, they just picked a random dump of uh, state MPs and former state MPs and said, yeah, you're out. So, Very I guess, wh- why do you think? I guess you're you're on this in, is in terms of like I, I get obviously they seem to have gone for pretty much everyone in the Victorian Parliament since 2018, bar a few um, newcomers. Um, but is there anything in Parliament, maybe in the immediate aftermath of um, Russia invading Ukraine in 2022, that um, could have sparked this, or is it just you think you, you just happened to be there, wrong place, wrong time? So, so I actually did say a couple of things about the Russian invasion. Um, Pro Ukraine. Uh, so theoretically, I could have, if they had targeted me, I could have been on the list. Uh, it was a long time ago, though. But um, most of those people on that list didn't say anything. They probably, half of them couldn't find Russia on the map. So um, I thought if I was going to get sanctioned, it was something I'd done rather than just being in a, in a complete random list. So that was annoying. <laughs> and I thought if someone was going to sanction me, it'd probably be China. But anyway, here we go. Here we are. How how would this impact you? Because I know you mentioned um, on Twitter about um, travel plans. I know there's a, m- more than a few politicians who have said they couldn't care less um, about this. But um, h- how would this impact you? Well, uh, so my wife is Russian, so that's for starters. Uh, so I actually do have a strong connection to Russia. And I've been there. It's the country I've been to the most. I've probably been there seven or eight times now. Uh, not for probably 20 years. It's the last trip was when we got married over there. Uh, but... Um, yeah, we, we're planning a trip. Um, my boys have never been to Russia, even though they speak Russian and think of themselves as Russian or partly Russian. So we've been planning a trip. We started planning in 2020 and then COVID came and then the war came and we postponed it. And now it looks like I'm not going to be going at all, possibly ever. Um, so, yeah, for me, it is actually personally annoying um, and a little problematic. Uh, but most of those MPs on the list won't care less. I imagine just just quickly as well. Um, given given your wife is Russian, um, would it affect her if if you know if your your husband's on the list? Then, um, that seems to be a bit you know tricky if if even just she's trying to go on her on her own to Russia. Uh, I presumably they won't uh, make a connection. Uh, she has a Russian passport as well as an Australian passport, so she would have to, and she must travel to Russia on her Russian passport. So. I don't think that would be an issue, um, but she's obviously hoping that they don't extend this to even more Australian MP, uh, politicians or councillors because that would really be a big uh, spanner for her. Although, again, yeah. she hasn't been there for 20 years, but she does want to go. Uh, 